everybody, how's it going? It's another beautiful day. Well, actually, well, the last beautiful day, because supposedly uh, some storms are coming with snow and rain back, so not wonderful. But me and Tucker here, we're going to be uh, going over getting that little Dodge, and we're also going to look at some uh, Mustangs. We're not bringing anything home with Mustangs. But I'm going to see if he has anything, you know, kind of modern from 90s on up to see if I could actually take those and uh, modernize that little Cougar because people are asking about that. I did make a video about it, but this camera was a little, was kind of messing up and I have a new one coming. But uh, when that arrives, then I'll do another video and stuff because I'm surprised actually some of you actually asking about the 70 Cougar. But uh, all in all, uh, just see what happens this morning. Uh, also, some people are asking more about the Roadrunner. Well, I got a tool coming to pop off that roof properly. Um, I still have yet to find a decent website for proper measurements for a roof scan. Because there's a couple websites that I was looking at. I think I said this in another video, but I'll just go ahead and say it again. If, in case no one ever caught the last one. Um, they're known for uh, improper dimensions. And I gotta do measurements and everything, find measurements online, see if I can. Uh, and then check around and stuff just to see if I can actually find a proper roof scan. And any other stuff that I may possibly need for that. And also to a panel and stuff like that. But all in all, uh, just have to see on what happens. So, we shall talk to you all when we get over to Good Rosetta Salvage. Just another busy day. So this is not ours, but this is another gentleman's. I'm just showing real fast. Yeah, all right. Three wheels on it are locked up. <laughs> At least show all you guys just a little bit of an extra treat this morning. Cause Tucker's gonna help out and I wanna record just just for something. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Don't worry, I won't get your license plate or nothing in the video because it's going up on YouTube. Oh, it is? Yeah. 
We have a we have a car challenge, Dirt Cat Auto Garage. Oh, you do. Yeah. yeah. That's where we're here to pick up another vehicle, and we got many more to pick up too. So. Oh, do you? Yeah. Just for. Uh, we're getting uh like a 84 or 87 uh, short box Dodge on there, the four wheel drive. The next week we're going to get his 46 uh, Fleetliner and then a Bonneville and a couple others. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Now venturing down into the yard to grab the Dodge. After helping another guy load his. Yeah. That was very interesting. A little 53 Chevy with the gas tank on the... Right side. Yep, on the right side. Passenger side. Never seen nothing like that before. I'm surprised we didn't see it. Yeah. And it was sitting over here someplace too, but oh right well. There. Yeah, right there. That's all right. Yeah. Body. There's that little fiberglass trash heap. I wouldn't mind getting one of those just to slap a Ford 427 in. Just get people going. <laughs> it's a thought. That or a little cor uh, older Corvette. I'd like to get a Stingray, but good luck. Well, a lot of that stuff, that's... Those at spot cars. There. I know. They want an arm and a leg for them. Well, everybody's after them. Yeah. So if he needs a hand. Yeah. Pick that up next week. It's happening, everybody. A little short box coming on home. I'm excited because my dad loved these little short box four wheel drives. And they're an arm, you know, they're kind of hard to find. Because some people have to give an arm and a leg, but this, thousand dollars. Back to that bluish silver color. I need you over here to help me shove this one. Alright. Gonna walk through here.
hitting this other other truck. Yeah, it uh, tight. We actually had to push it over because it was about that much clearance. <laughs> Ooh, very yeah, very tight. I know, and that's extremely good box too. But yeah, you can see where he took off the bottom chrome piece. Oh man, look. Oh, he's got those throwaway rims. That's all right. Nah, it's all right. Probably. If we can't, we'll just get the record to the side and pull it right on. You can see where it was once silver underneath that blackish blue gunk. And you can faintly see where he took out the, uh, the chrome studs on the bottom. He uh, kind of ruined it a little. Uh, yeah. Factory uh, split windows. But yeah, again, this is going to be the color that's going to go back on because I actually like that color. Uh, but he's coming home today. Yeah, those are not the tires that should be on it. Let me get some things situated here.
what type of lockout to run that thing anyways. Ah, uh, like Whitey. Those are easy to change. I remember you oh, and yeah. Dad chasing those before. Well, these are the good. That's a good sell. Yeah, that's there. a good sell. They're good for power for turn up, full turn. Yeah. Well, it's on the trailer. Now we need to get him strapped down. Well, there we have it. He's on. He's strapped down, and he's ready to roll on the road. Uh, I noticed that I actually have a a, a drive uh, a uh, steering box leak. I was about to say drive shaft. I was like, why am I trying to say drive shaft? Tiny thing, yeah, little minute things. But uh, down here, you can barely see it. But he took off those rivets for uh, for the bottom chrome piece, and he just painted it black over that beautiful silver color. But uh, yeah. Because, like I said, and I showed him. I know. Did the brakes work? Oh, yeah, the brakes work. Oh, good. I have to look at that. Tells yeah. you power steering because that's kind of a pain in the butt trying to steer the right. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you can see, painted over that. A oh, fine color. And it's going to remain silver and red. I'll put a different seat on it. Yeah, this is going to get a lot of accessories back onto it. I don't know about a moon visor. Uh, just have to see. But uh, I was looking at this a little bit more. Um, there's a lift kit on this, but I won't have to do research and run the numbers because I don't know if that's either stock or put on. But either though, it's going to remain the have the have the lift kit remain on it. I think it looks good with that lift kit. Oh yeah. Of course, they'll say 15 inch tires, but. You gotta have a little bit of clearance on a four wheel drive. I know. Oh, yeah, it's gonna stay. This would be a pretty. Yeah. That's what's nice about these older cars. I think mean, you look, you look at that 84 and then go look at my 05 there. Yeah, because you look at this 84 to 87, and we shall go over, and this is 2005. Both sides, even down there at the box, and even right there. So, something happened along the way. But either, but either, well, well either way, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm excited. This is only the major thing, and they tried to drill it out. Have to see about fixing that spot. Looks like it's just a, the door skin itself, so that'd be kind of an easy fix to be honest some of it's kind of wedge I'll have to find the proper dimensions and the gap for all this right here but yeah a little tiny rust right there but that's easy stuff but yeah he took the the pins off for the chrome and I'll have to put some new ones on because he took a lot of the accessories off on this but anywho uh when we go up we gotta well I uh, I gotta ask him about a modern uh, Mustang like in the '90s on up for that Cougar. I think there, he has some Mustangs down there, but I think the engines walked up on them. Yeah, but like the drivetrain and stuff like that, at least try to get something off of it for the Cougar and uh, see if he if he might have a rear end, uh, temporary rear end to have on the on the Roadrunner to move that around because once things are situated, we're gonna. Well, I'm going to start working on it little by little alongside the fair lane. And, and once he gets some more time off, uh, work on the 67 Mustang. Don't know either a gasser or something else. What did you say you're going to have plans for that? I thought about it. It's still going to be a gasser idea. But I kind of had the idea of doing a, the Cobra. Cobra guts inside of a Mustang. Yeah. A cobra and gasser. I my gasser. That's what's down sitting in that. Yeah. I think I mocked it all the way up to one gear ratio off the rear end. So it should make that little pony fly. Yeah, it should. Because we're going to put a whole new front on it for a big block and everything. Because that well, entire that, front clip, it's... Yeah, well, that, technically that car is small block, big block. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, cause that, but that entire front, though, it's all rusted. We need to take the entire front and replace it from that one uh, CJ Pony website. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna walk over here, 
because uh, this is Tucker's car. I know we show this a couple times, but uh, this is that 47 Lincoln. We're going to grab this very, very last, and this takes, uh, what was it, pickup? Uh, pick yeah, pickup tires and pickup drums. And this is one of those... Uh, it looks rough that these cars actually came out with V12s in them. Yes. This looks very rough. And but... It still has the... There's still a lot of stuff to this. But it yeah. still has the original push button uh, hydraulic windows. Yeah. As you can see, we'll point out right there. But uh, but yeah, this ha it's very rough, but it's extremely saveable. This is one of those... Club something I can't remember now. Yeah, it was like a. It was fancy. They made 800 and something of these. Who knows how many survived? And this has been sitting here for over 30 something years. And he. Yeah, we'll have to double check. But yeah. Oh yeah, you do, don't you? Oh yeah, there's the other one. I'd be uh, all giggly if that's original radio, but I doubt it. No. Uh, maybe go on the other side and grab it. Listen, I got your way. But uh, is there a spot to move this window? No, not really. But yeah, it's rough, but not Roadrunner rough. It's Lincoln rough. <laughs> oh no. Uh. This is big. Yeah, they're supposed to be big. Um, they could be. Hold that up to me. Uh, let's grab it and take it with us just in case. See if there's numbers on it that we can identify. Yeah. But we know some connections where we can actually get an original V12. Maybe original, or put some sort of a fun kit on the V12. But, uh, yeah, it's... Look at that engine bay. Oh, good. Yeah, there's a lot of... Of course, this was a three-speed. I would have loved that V12. Oh, I know. Long gone, though, obviously. <laughs> But yeah, it. Uh, I think the windshield wipers were the suicide ones, where one one go this way, the other one go that I way. Remember. I tried to I, at least I think I can't remember. It's been a while. But you see a lot of people taking these, restoring them, and putting 350s in them. No, it's going to get original back into it. Even if the V12 is out of a different year, it's still going to be put, placed into it because this is not going to be too original by any means. But yeah. Yeah. But it's not Roadrunner rough. It's Lincoln rough. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna. Oh, that's fixable. Oh yeah, it, it's it's very very that's fixable. Like those cars. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and end this video there. I know the original bumpers are still on it. Yeah. Hold on, let's, let's check that out real fast. Oh, yeah, there's the L insignia for Lincoln. That's also another thing, too. I gotta figure out how to weld the uh, pot weld stuff because I wanna learn that as well. Oh my gosh. This front bumper was complete, right? Oh my gosh. I'd never noticed this. It's going to take a lot, of, a lot of love and care. But anywho, we're going to... I'm going to go ahead and turn this video off because there's a lot of other things that we need to do down here and check. Um, next week, we're going to get Tucker's... Uh, 46 fleet line. Or this is what we need to check. We need to see if these oh, yeah. wheels in this bottom hill will interchange with our. Well, system. I don't think this will. He'll probably want to touch this because this is a hard top four door. Wow. 
there's a post down there that we could probably mess with. I have to ask him about that. I can ask him about the rims. Oh, yeah. I don't know what year this is. I'm not sure. Uh, this is supposedly... Is this a 66? It doesn't look like a 66. This can't be a 66. Is it? No. This might be 65. I'm not sure, to be honest now. Because mine's definitely a 66. But I don't know, but yeah. I'll get the tires off of this. And, but, uh, but yeah. Yes. Because uh, those rims are still pretty darn good. Because we looked at it before. Because my Bonneville is going to be a fun car. But not too fun. But now we're now going to end the video there. Because there's some other things that we got to do. Look up some other stuff. Because uh, we'll be down here for maybe another 40-50 minutes. And we don't want to have this video too long. I uh, got another camera coming. So quality of everything is going to get a lot better. I'm learning some a little bit more of the cinema. I, I, I can't pronounce stuff too well. Because, you know, too much redneck. <laughs> but, uh, going to learn how to make my videos better. Better quality and stuff like that. But, yeah. So, we do have a Facebook page. If you want to follow there. Um, got a Twitter. Got an Instagram. Um, Twitter's for all of my accounts. Uh, just have to see on what else happens and when I add on to uh, the channel for this information, you know, for the information and stuff like that. Because I'm still trying to figure out some of this media stuff. Uh, also, too, before I do forget, people did tell me about the engine. Thank you very much for that. Small blocks have distributors in the back. So I got to find out if this is like a 318, 340, or 360. Because big blocks have distributors in the front. Thank you very much for those. Uh, for the individuals that have said that and I'm probably doing this anyway, so I'm sorry about that So on this side someplace. I'll have a We're video learning as we go too. So. Yes, we are learning as we go. We're not experts Even though some stuff we're kind of experts on but we're still learning stuff But on this side there should be a video recommended for you and on this side There should be another playlist if not then that's the subscribe button. So on me and Tucker we shall bid you all adieu, and you all take care now, and stay safe. Catch you later.